Hi guys, so today I will be looking at the recognition method. Um, there are two different types of recognition examples which I will look at with you. So the first question is x over x squared plus 4. Now, um, with the recognition method, uh, most of the time you'd find that uh, the functions are being multiplied or divided or the same. So you have an algebraic function here in the numerator and an algebraic function in the denominator. Now, if you have a denominator involved, always test and check whether the overall power is equal to 1. In this case, the overall power is indeed equal to 1. Now, what you'll do is uh, the next step is for you to equate uh, the denominator to y. So you're going to say, let y be equal to x squared plus 4. You need to now differentiate y and you'll get dy by dx equals 2x. What we notice here, which is um, an interesting fact, is that x, which is the variable which we obtain in dy by dx, is absolutely compatible to the numerator. So if they are compatible, um, it means that you're nearly pretty much done. So the 2, which is a constant which you obtain in dy by dx, is obviously not present in the question. So this means that you need to transform to get rid of the 2 to change it into a 1 and the way to do this is just half. So the final answer is just half ln, it's an ln function because the overall power in the denominator equals 1, so half ln of the denominator which is x squared plus 4 plus c. So that's the first type of question which you will encounter in the exam about the recognition method. The second type of questions are yet again to do with very similar, identical, if anything, um, functions. So here you have a trig over a trig. Now, whilst it is true that the functions are the same, however, in this particular case, we notice that the denominator, the overall power in the denominator is not equal to 1. It's half. You do not have a choice. When the power is not equal to 1, you need to lift the denominator onto the numerator. So, you will obtain sine x cos x, which of course is already in the numerator, multiply by cos 2x plus 3 to the power of minus half. Do not forget to apply your rules of indices. The next step is for you to now um, decide which one out of the two here you'd equate to y. In general, equate the more complex one out of the two to y. So if you equate the more complex one to y, which in this case is cos 2x plus 3, what you also need to always never fail to do is to up the power which was given to you in the question in the chosen function that you have equated to y by 1. So when you up a minus half and add a 1 to it, it becomes y is equal to cos 2x plus 3 to the power of half. Now, we will move on to differentiating this question. So, dy by dx equals half, you apply the chain rule and um, differentiation here, half multiplied by minus 2 sine 2x times cos 2x plus 3 to the power of minus half. The answer after cleaning this up, the constants up, is equal to minus a sine 2x, cos 2x plus 3 to the power of minus half. Now, we know that we can open sine 2x by using the double angle formula. So when you open sine 2x up, you get um, 2 sine x cos x cos 2x plus 3 to the power of minus half. So do not forget there's a minus here. Now, um, the next step is for you to notice that the sine x cos x cos 2x plus 3 to the power of minus half is identical to what you got in the derivative of cos 2x plus 3 to the power of half. The only difference, yet again, being the constant. The constant here is a minus 2, whereas in the question, the constant is 1. So, I am going to change the constant minus 2 to 1 by multiplying it by minus half. 
So in other words, when you integrate, if you were to integrate this, you'd get cos 2x plus 3 to the power of half. But without the minus 2, so if you wanted to get rid of the minus 2, all that you'd have to do is just multiply the answer by minus half. So if you integrate this without the minus 2, you'd still get cos 2x plus 3 to the power of half, but don't forget to put a minus half so that it can eliminate the minus 2, which is here to get a 1, which is what we require in the question. So, of course, your final answer is equal to minus half cos 2x plus 3 to the power of half plus c. So, there are the two types of recognition methods which you need to bear in mind. I hope that this was helpful. Um, please do leave comments and like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye.